Welcome again. So last week I uh, bought a visit to, to Nijmegen and I bought that, that wing uh, media book. But I also bought some vinyl and uh, in today's video I want to show you what I bought. Um, yeah, well, I had some time and I was looking to the bins and um, Normally I'm, I'm a bit hasty and I don't take the time, but now it took some time and I went to two stores and went to some vinyl. And um, the first thing I came up with was this one. This is uh, Jim O'Rourke. Die cut sleeve. Very plain black cover with uh, the inner printed inner sleeve with the windows when it's dark and when it's light. This is um, two organs on side one and two more organs on side two. It was recorded sometime in 1990, some very early recording. Um, and it was uh, released as a, on the vinyl by three po poplars in 2004. Um, yeah, how do I come to Jim O'Rourke? Yeah, in the previous video a long time ago I talked about this book from Frans de Waard and uh, a lot of names came up and uh, when, I, when I see something uh, or think hey I read about something about it then I think okay maybe I should buy it yes or no. This one was 20 euros so not that expensive. Uh, it's a very uh, droney ambient minimalistic piece of two pieces of music and uh, not for everyone maybe also not for me but interesting music for me again uh, very simple labels second hand this is side a uh, b and this is side a i have to clean it because it's uh, damaged and uh, but i listen to the both both sides um, just yet I've listened to something it's very yeah it's an organ of course and it, it evolves a little bit and um, another side I listened to and I fell asleep so that's the kind of music you can expect from from this uh, Jim O'Rourke uh, don't know him very good but he did some work with the Sonic Youth uh, with a lot of well-known artists um, from, from, from noise to, to pop to everything, Sonic Youth of course, some heavy music. So if you're interested, Jim O'Rourke. In the bins there was also a bin from music from Nijmegen, from the town where the, the Tvenilarchief is located. And uh, this one was there, Bee Queen. And, um, for the people who, yeah, and you, maybe you know, I'm collecting the label Tone Float, and B Queen has a single on there. Uh, this and and yeah, it's also connected with the book because B Queen is um, Frank de Waard and Freek Kinkeler, and I saw this release it was only 10 euros, uh, 10 inch, nicely done, nicely packaged in a hard carton book of cover. Here's the 10 inch was here in so like this. And it's uh, recorded by Freek Kinkelaar and Frans de Waard uh, over a period of four years. So when you listen to it, I think four years. Uh, field recordings, um, also with droney uh, music. Um, so that's very nice, easy listening. This is a, I have, uh, it's a 476. Um, That's the, that's the release, that's how many copies are made, and I have number 80. So, Be Queen, Frans de Waard and Freek Kinkler. So, nice. So we have some music from Nijmegen. Then for something uh, different, um, I know this label from Sight, uh, Actual, and I saw this Sunny Murray uh, release. Uh, 180 grams, you have the hype sticker, and I go for my, most of the time I go for cheap records. This was 13 euros. Never give a sucker an even break. Um, Sonny Murray is a drummer, and uh, this is on uh, 
nice cover with the inners inside of the cover BG BYG records free jazz also not for everyone also maybe not for me but I listened to it some nice uh, saxophone drumming free jazz as I said on this record heavy records I think 180 maybe 200 grams of final side one on this side with uh, two tracks about seven and a half minutes long and this one so if you're digging for records uh, this is a, was a new record you don't have to pay a lot of money if you're uh, a little bit lucky and know the right record shops another jazz record I saw it a month ago and I left it then and uh, now I thought yes go for it this is the uh, time waits the amazing but power pianist if I'm correct because I'm not that well known um, but power piano Sam Jones bass and Philly Joe Jones drums so the two ba the basses and the drums very nice and well-known names but, uh, I I come uh, along these names often when you have this uh, kind of Blue Note classic series so when you're looking for a nice vinyl, not too expensive, I think on Discogs this one is 10 euros. So very good quality of sound. Kevin Gray does the does the mastering, like it says on the on the on the sticker. If you see the sticker, in, if you're into jazz, go for it. Uh, I listen to it. What irritates me or annoys me a little bit is that that the pianist is um, his butt is is also singing along with his with his uh, piano playing. It's not that um, on the on the fo foreground, but but in the background you hear him. Uh, I think with with all the things he does, and that I don't like very much, to be honest. But very nice music, good quality of sound. Time waits, the amazing but Powell. Something different again. I bought this, I was searching in the electronics, um, in the electronic music and I saw this one for 5 euros. It's Sonicy with Audion and uh, what triggered me was that this is um, mastered by Bob Ludwig. So I thought yeah the sound must be great. The sound is good, is maybe great but the music, wow. And it doesn't uh, ring a bell for me. Uh, nice passport records. Didn't have a record on that label. It's um, yeah. Uh, how do we describe electronic music, synthesizer music? They compare it with Tangerine Dream, and and that's kind of stuff. Maybe the the modern Tangerine Dream, but I think it's not so good as Tangerine Dream. But Electronic composition for the postmodern age. That's the title of this song, and it's played by Larry Fast, produced and engineered. So, electronic music. The last one I saw was this one. So I have a lot of different, bought a lot of different styles. This was also the second hand bin, uh, the, uh, the direct metal mastering. And uh, the Great Voices of Volume 2. There are, I think, three or four of this one. And what got me is audiophile mastering, optimal spatial representation, improved dynamics, enhanced, and 180 gram of audiophile virgin vinyl. So I think uh, let's buy it for the quality of sound. And the quality of sound is very good. It's a bit um, country, singer songwriting kind of music. Also not very much my cup of tea, but um, as I as I uh, as I uh, noticed that when the sound is very good, uh, the music is also better. If you have a very poor quality of sound, then um, 
you have to have very good music to, to enjoy it. And this is enjoyable because of the very good quality. I'll show you one vinyl in acoustic. This is the label. So very nice quality of sound. And now we to have to uh, spend uh, uh, save some money for the uh, fairies and embos and. Uh, well, let's see what, uh, what I do there. But uh, I have listened to a lot of music. I listen to Miles Davis. I listen to Coil. I listen to a lot of things. Um, very nice to, 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 to listen to the music again. And I hope you enjoy your music again. And uh, until the next time. Bye bye.